So, McAfee is back in the news. What's uh, he up to this time? <laughs> So well, last last we heard of him, by the way, John McAfee, inventor of the McAfee John antivirus, McAfee. which he sold, yep. we should say, to Symant who did he sold? Not Symantec. Uh, Intel. Intel owns it. Yeah. And uh, so and it's you got to nice. wonder whether they're sort of wishing they'd change their name. Oh, they should change if their it name. Was, yeah. Really? Because Mac Mac McAfee antivirus is just like, wait a minute, is that the John McAfee antivirus? So, well. And then uh, he went, he took the money, went to Belize, kind of had a crazy lifestyle. There was a May murder charge. His dog. It was a yeah. thing. He escaped. <laughs> oh, and then the last God. we heard of him, he said, oh, I could crack the Apple iPhone. If I can't, I'll eat my shoes. And then he didn't. And then he said, well, I was lying. I couldn't really. Right. But I'm not still so not going to eat my shoes. So now he decides. Well, OK, so the, 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 the press covers this with WhatsApp Messenger hacked by John McAfee and crew. MSN. Reports John McAfee claims to have cracked secure oh WhatsApp God. messages. Why do they still fall for this stuff? Uh, Engadget. John McAfee <sighs> claims he can read encrypted messages on Android. Mm -hmm. And Gizmodo. John McAfee apparently tried to trick reporters into thinking <laughs> he hacked WhatsApp. <laughs> so here's what actually happened. It appears that McAfee has tried to trick reporters again by sending them phones pre-cooked with malware containing a key logger. Oh, Lord. And convincing them he somehow cracked the encryption on WhatsApp. According to a cybersecurity expert, Dan Guido, who was contacted by a reporter trying to verify McAfee's claims, McAfee planned to send this reporter two Samsung phones in sealed boxes. Then, experts working for McAfee would take the phones out of the boxes in front of the reporters, and McAfee would read the messages being sent over WhatsApp over a Skype call. McAfee offered this story to at least the International Business Times and Russia Today, uh, and one additional source said he also shopped the story to Business Insider. So... Uh, the security researcher, Dan Guido, said John McAfee was offering a couple of news organizations to mail them some phones, have people show up and then demonstrate with those two phones uh, that McAfee, located in the remote mountains of Colorado, would be able to read the message as it was sent between the phones. Uh, Dan wrote, I advised the reporter to go out and buy their own phones because even though they come in a sealed box, it's very easy to get some saran wrap and a hair dryer <laughs> to rebox them. <laughs> what kind of idiot would just oh. take the phone and go, okay, and oh. not say, well, okay, John, I have my own phone. Why don't we try it on this one? And, of course, this bubbled up to Moxie uh, oh because because WhatsApp uses Signal. And we talked about Signal a few weeks back. And it, for me, it was a love affair because I was so impressed with, with I mean, the, 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 the protocol and the technology and, and the cleverness of the solutions they had come up with. So Moxie Marlin Spike, who, of course, developed the encryption protocol used in WhatsApp and assisted in implementing it, told Gizmodo that McAfee also admitted his plan to him. Moxie said, quote, some reporters that had been contacted by McAfee about a demo got in touch with me and by, by contacted by John McAfee, not McAfee. AV by John McAfee about a demo got in touch with me. I talked, says Moxie, to McAfee on the phone. He reluctantly told me that it was a malware thing with pre cooked phones, and all the outlets he'd contacted de decided not to cover it after he gave them details about, about how it would work. So, so he's, he's, he's 
um, rem remember in the case of the San Bernardino phone, he later said, yeah, I don't really uh, have any way to do that. And actually the phrase he used was, I just thought it would generate, and I'm sorry to say this word, but it, he used the, the term a shitload of press. <laughs> Yeah. And so he yeah. was doing For, it purely. What's bizarre is he's not, he doesn't selling anything. No. What, what, no. what does it's he want just, the press for? It's it's ego. Ego. It's just he needs, you know, I mean, Washington has Donald Trump. Yeah. And and our, our industry is John McAfee. Yeah. And both are providing a lot of <laughs> interesting times and, and entertainment for the press. Yeah.